Hello Warriors, I was here from Let's Play 40k, so I just wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how I painted up some of the Warhammer 40k accessories barricades. So with those, what I did is I did a rust effect to match my urban board that I built earlier. In the tutorial, you're going to see two really different techniques from your standard painting. One of them is actually using Sharpies um, to edge highlight. I'll show you in the video, it looks really cool. I strongly recommend it, it's so easy. Uh, it only works on larger size models though, however. And another one, I'm going to be building up a rust effect, but I'm going to be putting salt underneath and brushing over top of it, and then rubbing the salt away, and it gives it a really rusted feel, like a natural rust. So, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. So the barricades I already had were already previously base coated by someone else. So what I'm doing is I'm doing a 50-50 ratio of gunmetal and water, and just to cover over all of it, um, I'm going pretty light, so it's almost like a wash essentially, just to get some good coverage on it. Next I will be layering it with a bronze from Games Workshop. Um, this is also about a 50-50 ratio of water and bronze, I believe. It's already thinned down. Um, so this is also just to give it a little bit more depth, uh, color contrast between the two. And this is also while the gunmetal water is still a little bit wet, that way I can mix the two of them together. Next I'll be layering it with a brassy brass. I've used this color before with my urban board. Um, and this here is as well the same general idea, uh, just to give it some contrast between the two. A little bit lighter on the brassy brass though. I wanted to kind of smudge it with my finger here and there. Just that way it gives it more of like a worn, because these barricades are super old, been in many battles. And here's what they look like for the foundation of our bronze and our brass and our gunmetal. Next we'll be layering it with a dark rust wash, just to kind of make it look like it was been, it's been pretty old, been rusted on, it's been left out, hit with debris, etc. of the sort. Um, and then after that, what we're going to be doing is we're going to get onto the cool part, where I start using Sharpies. So these here are Sharpies I just found at uh, Walmart, I believe it was. Super cheap, I think it was $3.99 for the pack of three. And these things will save so much time. I cannot stress to you how much easier they are than just painting. So here's where I start using the silver sharpie. This is going on the side where I'm using light coming from, so like the OSL side. So I take the sharpie, take the edge, and literally just run it just along the edge. It is so easy. I cannot stress it enough. Um, and it look, it'll pick up on any of the fine edges, it's almost like a dry brush, but it, it's so simple, I cannot like possibly tell you. Um, so the only thing to make sure though is you use it on a larger model. If you use it on a really small model and you aren't careful, you can um, put sharp, permanent sharpie on the edges of it, but in the end you can just paint over it, so don't stress too much. Now I'm going to use the bronze sharpie over the exact same side I just used the uh, silver over, just to give it kind of a highlight. Also, one of the good things about Sharpies is you can immediately paint right over it. You can immediately use another Sharpie. You don't have to wait for it to dry. There's no smudging. And it gives it this natural kind of like bronzy, silver kind of sheen to it. And on the other side, what I'm going to use is the gold. So that's on the side opposite from the OSL. And that gives it some contrast between. So when you see in the final product, it'll look really cool. Um, I would use this for things like Titans. Uh, vehicles. I wouldn't use it anything smaller than probably Terminator shoulder pads. Anything smaller than that you might need to experiment but try other things. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over with a rust effect over top of the entire thing. You do want to however make sure that your rust effect is very dry when you dry brush it. Uh, you don't want any wet or else it will start to ruin everything you've been working on or you just have to repaint over it. Um, in the video however I did three different um, barricades. So one of them is your standard Sharpie barricade. The other one has a 50-50 ratio of lichen, lixed, lichen and corn red with a dish soap and water. So that was just to give it kind of like an afterburn effect, which you'll see on the one coming up. Then afterwards, I took all of them and I put over a gryphon sepia wash over top. And this kind of blends all the colors together and gives it kind of a wash towards the bolts and the nuggets at the bases. And the last effect, which I really do apologize for, is I actually didn't videotape it, is where I took the water and salt. So what I did is I took water on a brush, 
brush it on certain spots, put table salt over top of it, and then spray paint it with black and a gray using an OSL style. Then what I did is I waited for it to dry. It took quite a while because you want to make sure the salt is all the way dry. And I took a ratio of Mechanicus standard gray and black, watered it down, and then used it almost as a wash and rub my finger along just to give it that kind of worn look. Then um, I used a old, old dry brush I had and I started brushing off the salt. So once you start brushing off the salt, you have to be very careful not to actually scratch the model. But what you want to do is just brush it off with the bristles and then get in there with your hands. Use the side of your thumb, anything you can, and just brush away that salt. The more rugged it looks, the better it will look in the end. And what you want to do is just get rid of all that salt and let that do the work for you. Then afterwards you can touch it up. But what you'll start to see is the rust basically coming from inside the model. Um, coming out through the layers of paint and you'll see the original color that you had. I feel this will work very well with any kind of titans, any kind of buildings, things like that. One of the things I unfortunately did is I had to use spray paint rather than my airbrush, um, which kind of caused a thicker layer than I wanted to and not enough contrast between, but you get the idea of the salt. Um, I strongly recommend this. I feel like it looks really cool in the end. I did unfortunately scratch it in one part, but I feel like that just adds to it like, mm. They got battle damage and you can actually feel the texture in the models and that barricade is now complete and here is the showcase of the regular sharpie bronze one and here's with the afterburn damage of the litched lixen and the corn red I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys got lots of ideas, a lot of cool, maybe inspirations would be great. Um, hit a like if you guys like what I'm doing. Uh, give me a comment down below if there's anything specific you guys want to see, if you have any questions, if you like what I showed you guys, and um, be sure to subscribe. And I'd also like to give a shout out to one of my buddies, TA24U, my buddy Richard. I will post a link down below, definitely check out his site, He's a great guy, real funny, nice and crazy too, who actually gave me a channel shout out, this was huge for me. Um, this is it's just something I do just to try and inspire people, this is how I got into the hobby, this is where I learned a lot of things, so if I can get anyone to be inspired, um, that's fantastic, that's great with me. And if ever you guys want to show me any models or anything like that, I'd be more than willing to see them, and if maybe down in the future I'll put, I'll put a link up, I'll put some... Uh, YouTube channels and showcase what you guys have made. Alright, take care guys. Bye.